What's up Witcher fans, it's Strangelove here, and for this video I'm going to recap some of the Witcher news and updates that have been announced over the past couple of weeks. First up, all of us diehard Witcher fans have eagerly been awaiting another dose of Witcher 3 gameplay since E3. Well, it looks like we don't have to wait much longer. The San Diego Comic Con is just around the corner, and they've recently announced that they'll be showcasing 30 minutes of new unpublished Witcher 3 Wild Hunt gameplay during their Witcher panel on July 24th. Now, this gameplay demo has been described as new to the public, which makes me think that maybe it's the second half of the gameplay demo that was shown at E3, since only the first half of that quest has been released to the public since then. That's just my speculation, but either way, regardless of the gameplay, I'm sure we'll all be anxiously awaiting its release. Also, you can definitely look forward to another gameplay breakdown video here on my channel as soon as I get access to the footage, so keep an eye out for that. This past week, CD Projekt Red announced their collaboration with Dark Horse Comics to bring us a new book called The World of the Witcher, a comprehensive compendium of Witcher lore that is meant to be a companion to the Witcher game series. This illustrated volume will include original artwork and in-depth information about the world of the Witcher and the characters and beasts that inhabit it. This hardcover tome will be helpful for those new to the series as well as seasoned fans. The World of the Witcher will be released on February 24th and is available for pre-order now on Amazon. Speaking of Dark Horse comics, in case some of you Witcher fans didn't already know, a comic miniseries called The Witcher House of Glass has slowly been releasing new issues of the comic over the past couple months in both digital and print formats. In this comic, readers follow Geralt and several other characters as they navigate an eerie mansion known as the House of Glass, where Geralt encounters horrific creatures and must struggle to maintain his sanity. Now, you can go read each issue separately online, or you can just do what I'm gonna do and wait until September 10th for the trade paperback, which collects the entire miniseries. Either way, this comic seems worth checking out, and you can even see a preview of each issue on the Dark Horse website, which I'll link down below in the description. And since we're on the topic of comics, I figured I should mention that if you pre-order Witcher 3 Wild Hunt on Amazon, it says that it comes with an Amazon-exclusive comic book. Now, when you read the description of the pre-order bonus comic on the Amazon website, it says that it's the House of Glass, but then when you click on the link for the comic, it just shows the cover of a generic comic that says Killing Monsters. So it's hard to tell one way or the other whether it's going to be the House of Glass comic or a completely new, separate, Amazon-exclusive comic. But either way, if you pre-order on Amazon, it looks like you get hooked up with a comic, so that's pretty awesome. Finally, if you're anxious to get your Witcher fix between now and February, it looks like players will have two very different Witcher-inspired options to choose from. First, the Witcher adventure game Closed Beta is now underway, and those who pre-ordered The Witcher 3 on GOG.com were among the first to be selected as participants. The Witcher adventure game mimics the physical tabletop board game where players take on the roles of familiar characters, including Geralt, Triss, Dandelion, and Yarpin, and must make careful choices on their path to victory. The multiplayer beta is available on PC and Mac and utilizes the upcoming DRM-free GOG Galaxy service. Now, if you haven't pre-ordered The Witcher 3 on GOG.com but still wanted to play The Witcher adventure game, you can sign up to be a part of the beta using the link down below in the description. Now, I personally have not gotten into the beta, so I haven't had a chance to play the adventure game just yet. So for those of you who are in the beta, let me know what you think of the Witcher adventure game down in the comments below. Now, if you've ever wished for a MOBA that would feature some of your favorite Witcher characters, it looks like you're in luck. CD Projekt Red recently announced the Witcher Battle Arena, which will be bringing characters from the Witcher world to your mobile devices, of course, in the form of a MOBA. Now, a lot of people have voiced their concerns about this new game, saying that the Witcher developers are merely trying to cash in on the current MOBA craze. I personally think it sounds like an interesting idea, and that the developers should feel free to experiment with other genres, because who knows, maybe it'll end up being really fun. I do wish, however, that it was available for PC, but either way, it's not like making this game will take away from the awesome Witcher games that we already do get to have, so I don't see the harm in letting the developers dabble in some other areas of gameplay, because they might just end up making something that fans really enjoy. The Witcher Battle Arena is set to be released later this year, so let me know if you guys will have your mobile devices ready down in the comments below. Alright everyone, that wraps up all of the recent Witcher news and updates that I wanted to inform you guys about. And if you guys find any Witcher news you'd like me to cover, let me know in the comments below. My next Witcher video is most likely going to be the breakdown of that new gameplay from Comic-Con, so make sure you subscribe so you can stay up to date on all of my Witcher content. Thanks so much for watching, stay strange my loves, and until next time, this is Strangelove, signing out.